So I'm realizing that there are a couple of projects that I really want to take care of in this camper before Shannon and I get on the road. We're going to be traveling for quite a while and there's a couple of things that I think would be really nice to do before we get out there. I also want to uh, take this camper on a little bit of a test run, a little bit of a trip for a couple of days over to the east coast. Hopefully get some waves. There's a little bit of a swell that's going to pop up over there and I haven't surfed in a while so I'm really looking forward to trying to do that. But first things first, it's a beautiful afternoon. I got to take care of these projects. So my first priority is, uh, is trying to figure out a way to extend this bed, the downstairs bed. Right now, just has this little extra piece and you just kind of pop it in place here and that's as wide as it gets and that's not really wide enough for two people. I ordered a new cushion, it should actually be here very shortly and then I got a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I'm gonna try to get creative, try to make this so that it goes all the way out to here maybe and then Shannon and I can sleep on the downstairs bunk if we need to in a pinch say we're just trying to stealth camp in a city or something like that and can't go somewhere where we can pop the top i think we're going to be good to pop the top if we're at like a walmart maybe or a cracker barrel if it allows overnight parking even rest areas should be okay at least quieter ones but other than that we might need to sleep down here occasionally so i want to make it so that that's possible We're doing it. We're on the road. Part of me was kind of on the fence about making this trip. I think I missed the peak of the swell yesterday and it's actually kind of starting to fade a little bit. But I'm just gonna try to make the most of it, try to find somewhere that it's breaking and get in the water for a little bit. It's a long drive, you know, it's, it's a four hour drive to get to the East Coast, but hopefully we can make it work. I'm gonna stay over there tonight and maybe get some leftover leftovers in the morning as well. I was just so caught up yesterday with building that bed and it ended up taking a little bit longer because the Amazon order for the cushion didn't come in until late, late in the evening. And I'm actually really glad that I waited for that though because if I had made that cut, it was actually gonna be an inch smaller than what it ended up being. The website said it was 25 inches wide, that extra trifold mattress piece, and it was actually closer to 26. So uh, that would have been a problem. I would have cut it an inch too small and it would have been like falling off. So I'm pretty happy with how the bed turned out overall. I'm looking forward to trying it out tonight. It is much more comfortable, much wider. It's about 45, maybe 46 inches wide. So somewhere between a twin and a full, I think it'll work well for Shannon and I in a pinch if we do need to stealth camp. So I've been out for a couple of hours now and I will admit the surf is definitely not GoPro worthy. 
There's some size in the water, pretty decent period swell, definitely some energy, but it's super closed out when those sets do come through and But hey, I drove all the way over here. Might as well stay out until the sun goes down. I can't see anymore. Get as many closeouts as I can. Pretty great day overall. Surf didn't end up being anything special, but felt pretty great to be in the water. And hopefully we can get something else tomorrow morning. It'll be a little bit smaller, but maybe there'll be a little bit hanging around. My plan for the rest of the evening is to uh, grab some dinner at a nearby Panera. Kind of want to just like sit there and work for a couple of hours, try to start editing this video. And then after that, I am probably gonna do like a truck stop, maybe a rest area along I-95, start making my way back south and then try to surf somewhere down there tomorrow morning. Absolutely beautiful morning out here. Can't ask for much more than this. Unfortunately, the uh, surf has definitely faded quite a bit. There's nothing anywhere, at least not here. I'm gonna go explore a little bit and try to find a sandbar where maybe the last bit of swell is still breaking. If not, I'll just hang out on the beach for a little bit, enjoy this beautiful day, and then start making my way back west. I ended up getting to surf for a couple of hours this morning. I kind of just started driving south and checking out all the different spots on the way down. I had never surfed before in that part of Florida. And fortunately, after I kept exploring for a while, I found a spot that was breaking. There were a few other folks out in the water and I got out there. It was a beautiful morning. You know, it wasn't like epic or all time or anything like that, but I'm super grateful to be able to spend another morning in the water with some waves. It's going to get pretty flat for the next week or so. The long range forecast doesn't look great, so I'm just taking it one day at a time and enjoying it for what it is. Now I have a long drive to get back to the west coast. We are planning to uh, hit the road in a couple of days, Shannon and I, so I do have one more project that I want to do on the camper. She wants me to build her almost like a little desk setup for the front seat here so that she can work more efficiently while I'm driving over long distances. Uh, it's gonna be definitely a little bit of a project, but I have some ideas in mind and I guess, uh, you know, I'll get into that and for you guys 
just a few seconds. For me, I've got a long drive ahead. Think it'll work? Yeah. This is my new office. When you get sick of me in the camper, you can kick me out and I can work in here. <laughs> well, here I was thinking I'd have to spend the whole morning building a custom stand for Shannon so that the monitor could sit there comfortably and she could work. But uh, turns out that the monitor stand that comes with that little small monitor, that portable monitor, fits perfectly right around the handle there in the front seat. So she'll be able to just sit there and hopefully work for a little bit while we're driving. I think also while we're parked, sometimes we go to coffee shops, it gets really loud inside the coffee shops and she can't take a phone call because it's so loud. So she'll go out to the car and just work like that. So it should work in a couple of different scenarios and we'll see how it goes. You know, maybe in the future I'll have to build something, but not today. I guess that pretty much sums it up for this one. We're getting close. Hopefully we'll be hitting the road in the next couple of days, tidying everything up and getting out there traveling for a little while. I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to take you guys along on that journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you all in the next one.